Haggai Chapter 1 In the second year of King Darius, in the sixth month, the first day of the month, came the word of the Lord by the ministry of the prophet Haggai unto Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, a prince of Judah, and to Jehoshua, the son of Jehozadak, the high priest, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, This people say, The time is not yet come, that the Lord's house should be built. Then came the word of the Lord by the ministry of the prophet Haggai, saying, Is it time for yourselves to dwell in your sealed houses, and this house lie waste? Now therefore thus saith the Lord of hosts, Consider your own ways in your hearts. Ye have sown much, and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled. Ye clothe you, but ye be not warm. And he that earneth wages putteth the wages into a broken bag. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Consider your own ways in your hearts. Go up to the mountain, and bring wood, and build this house, and I will be favorable in it, and I will be glorified, saith the Lord. Ye looked for much, and lo, it came to little. And when ye brought it home, I did blow upon it. And why, saith the Lord of hosts, because of mine house that is waste, and ye turn every man unto his own house. Therefore the heaven over you stayed itself from dew, and the earth stayed her fruit. And I called for a drought upon the land, and upon the mountains, and upon the corn, and upon the wine, and upon the oil, upon all that the ground bringeth forth, both upon men and upon cattle, and upon all the labor of the hands. When Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel, and Joshua the son of Jehozadak the high priest, with all the remnant of the people, heard the voice of the Lord their God, and the words of the prophet Haggai, as the Lord their God had sent him, then the people did fear before the Lord. Then spake Haggai the Lord's messenger in the Lord's message unto the people, saying, I am with you, saith the Lord. And the Lord stirred up the spirit of Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, a prince of Judah, and the spirit of Joshua, the son of Jehozadak, the high priest, and the spirit of all the remnant of the people. And they came, and did the work in the house of the Lord of hosts, their God. Haggai Chapter 2 In the four and twentieth day of the sixth month, in the second year of King Darius, in the seventh month, in the one and twentieth day of the month, came the word of the Lord by the ministry of the prophet Haggai, saying, Speak now to Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, prince of Judah, and to Joshua, the son of Jehozadak, the high priest, and to the residue of the people, saying, Who is left among you that saw this house in her first glory? And how do you see it now? Is it not in your eyes in comparison of it as nothing? Yet now be of good courage, O Zerubbabel, saith the Lord, and be of good comfort, O Joshua, son of Jehozadak, the high priest, and be strong, all ye people of the land, saith the Lord, and do it. For I am with you, saith the Lord of hosts, According to the word that I covenanted with you, when ye came out of Egypt, so my spirit shall remain among you, fear ye not. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, Yet a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth, and the sea and the dry land, and I will move all nations, and the desire of all nations shall come, and I will fill this house with glory, saith the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, saith the Lord of hosts. The glory of this last house shall be greater than the first, saith the Lord of hosts, and in this place will I give peace, saith the Lord of hosts. In the four and twentieth day of the ninth month, in the second year of Darius, came the word of the Lord unto the prophet Haggai, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Ask now the priests concerning the law, and say, 
If one bear holy flesh in the skirt of his garment, and with his skirt do touch the bread or the pottage, or the wine, or oil, or any meat, shall it be holy? And the priests answered and said, No. Then said Haggai, If a polluted person touch any of these, shall it be unclean? And the priests answered and said, It shall be unclean. Then answered Haggai and said, So is this people, and so is this nation before me, saith the Lord, and so are all the works of their hands, and that which they offer here is unclean. And now I pray you, consider in your minds from this day and afore, even afore a stone was laid upon a stone in the temple of the Lord. Before these things were, when one came to an heap of twenty measures, there were but ten, when one came to the winepress for to draw out fifty vessels out of the press, there were but twenty. I smote you with blasting, and with mildew, and with hail, in all the labors of your hands, yet you turned not to me, saith the Lord. Consider, I pray you, in your minds from this day and afore, from the four and twentieth day of the ninth month, even from the day that the foundation of the Lord's temple was laid, consider it in your minds. Is the seed yet in the barn, as yet the vine and the fig tree and the pomegranate and the olive tree hath not brought forth, from this day will I bless you. And again the word of the Lord came unto Haggai in the fourth and twentieth day of the month, saying, Speak to Zerubbabel, the prince of Judah, and say, I will shake the heavens and the earth, and I will overthrow the throne of kingdoms, and I will destroy the strength of the kingdoms of the heathen, and I will overthrow the chariots and those that ride in them, and the horse and the rider shall come down, every one by the sword of his brother. In that day, saith the Lord of hosts, will I take thee, O Zerubbabel, my servant, the son of Shealtiel, saith the Lord, and will make thee as a signet, for I have chosen thee, saith the Lord of hosts.